The last thing to do once you have added prospects and created your email sequence is to set up a schedule of when those emails should be sent. So we've made this pretty easy to do. Literally, I mean, you're a couple of clicks away from sending it to 50 people a day. So uh, just keep in mind, we let you change this number to anything you would like. We don't recommend that you go over 100 per day because you will have follow-ups that will start going out. So it's possible if you have like four follow-up emails that when days overlap that you could end up sending, you know, 400 emails that day. And this is just new prospects to email per day. So if you leave this at 50 and your email sequence calls for a follow-up to be sent every three days, well, three days from now, that means 100 prospects will be emailed. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Another thing to remember is that the emails themselves are sent one-to-one, -one, so they're not sent in bulk, and so this comes off a lot more personalized. The reason you wouldn't want to send emails through like an email marketing platform is A, it's against their terms of service, but B, it's obvious that you're sending this to a massive list of people. So it just removes any ability to be personal. So we allow you to do that all right here within LeadFuse. The days checked are when the emails will be sent and this is the time it'll automatically adjust for your time zone. And you can edit this, you know, say so we wanna change that to 9.10 and in one click, you know, it'll update all of them. Now, even though this is checked off right now for every single day, it actually won't send for the current day. So if you want to send on the day you're creating the schedule, you'll need to leave this checkbox checked and that will trigger an email to be sent the next time it queues it up, which will be every 15 minutes or so. So it might not happen, you know, for 10 to 15 minutes after you add to the schedule. Our studies have shown that 8 a.m. Pacific time is actually the most ideal time to send emails um, because it basically hits the inbox at peak times across all different time zones. So one of the peak times on the East Coast is actually 11 a.m., which ends up being 8 a.m. on the West Coast. So we have this set to be by default when you'll want to actually send the emails. Once you've decided on your times, you just click on add to schedule and this will actually create the schedule for you. So a couple things to remember, once a prospect has been emailed, you won't be able to send a different sequence to them. If you wanted to send them an email again, you would just you know search for their email up here and reset their status to not emailed. And then the other thing is if a prospect calls you directly instead of emailing. This will happen from time to time. Again, you'll want to find out their email address so that you can track them down and then reset their status to replied. This way they don't get any more follow-up emails. This is basically it. Once you have the schedule created, everything else is on autopilot. So the moment you add a prospect to the list, it will uh, automatically get them queued up to be sent according to your schedule. The only thing you'll want to do is go to your profile and then just connect your email account here and you'll be good to go. As always, if you have any questions, just use this little live chat icon here or you can go to leadfuse.com slash help or you can email support at leadfuse.com for more assistance.